So earlier I mentioned how I don't like to buy new clothes, or at least most of the time I don't. I like to uh, buy them used, either thrift stores or, I, mean, I guess mostly thrift stores or yeah, online. Um, except with shoes, I will sometimes get them new. But then when I get them new, I try to just wear them absolutely as long as possible. Uh, these are a pair of Adidas that I think I got, I want to say like six or seven years ago. Uh, Samba has always lost me a really long time, so I just go back to them just because of that. Um, and I like the way they look as well. Uh, these I've repaired quite a few times. Sewed up things that started to, uh, to get some loose threads, but they are pretty much at the point where I'm going to have to replace them. Um, got some, some major sole uh, lossage at the bottom here, and that's going to let water in, so... I won't be able to wear these once the rains start coming. Yeah, the other pair of shoes that I wear pretty often are these Wolverine 1000 Mile Boots. And uh, I got these used off of Craigslist, but they were in like next to new condition. They were really good condition. Uh, I think these are about a $350, $400 pair of shoes. I, uh, I paid $150, and I paid that much because... I'm hoping that they will last for 10 years, but the thing with leather is you need to take care of it, you need to uh, condition it and keep it clean or it will just break down. I just got some new shoestrings because they broke on here, so while I'm taking the strings off I figure I might as well clean them up. Shoestrings? Cool. Cool. Hey, get out of the way. Alright, it is Thursday afternoon and we're getting ready to take Mabel to the vet. We're taking her there because of a few things, but mostly because she has had diarrhea for a week now and that's too long. Something's not right. So what we need to do is get that Mabel poop. You go potty? You go potty, Mabel? Let's go. Alright, go on. Go potty, Mabel. She's too focused on possible squirrels right now. Alright, we just got home from taking Mabel to the vet, and the vet that we take her to is like half an hour away and then when you run into rush hour uh, I think it took us a little over an hour to get home but uh, we gave, we were able to get a fecal sample I stood outside for like 20 minutes just saying maybe we'll go potty go potty and just couldn't go so I called the vet and they're like well don't worry about it but we got to the vet about 15 minutes early and we went to a little grassy area like next door and we just stood there and she ended up pooping out a little poop so we were able to give it to him and we're going to get that uh, that sample's being tested and we'll know what's going on tomorrow but they gave us two medicines uh, this one and this one and I'm going to go ahead and um, continue Mabel's diet of just boiled chicken for the next couple days. And so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and boil some chicken and sprinkle this whatnot on it. But the good thing is uh, she doesn't seem to be like acting much different. The vet says that she's healthy. I know I'm a coffee snob and I try to not, I guess, take it too far, but uh, the last couple days I've been too busy to roast coffee. We ran out and 
ended up when I was grocery shopping last night getting uh, like a pound from Winco and it's their Tanzanian pea berry coffee. Just, there's just so much of a difference between fresh roasted coffee and you know however old this is. Like when you're when you're doing a pour over or really making any sort of fresh coffee, you put a little bit of water in first to let the beans absorb it before you add more, and just all the coffee is called blooming. And everything just swells up and just takes in all the water and blooms. Well, with this, you put the water in and it does absolutely nothing, which just shows that it's like super old coffee and that it's most likely not going to be as good. But this is what I'm drinking for the next couple days. Um, and speaking of being busy, tonight another film gig is happening at this place called Owl's. It's not Owl's Diner. Owl's, Owl's something. I, th I think it's in the, the bottom of the Wonder Ballroom. And uh, Haley is helping me, and then Tyler is helping me. And uh, Tyler, or Haley's laying on the couch right now. She does not feel good at all. She's got, she got sick. So I, I hope, hope she can uh, not feel too bad doing this. She said she still wants to. But yeah, me and my coffee are gonna go and uh, write out the contract for tonight's show. While Mabel stays in the kitchen, keeping an eye on her boiled chicken. So I've never done a, a contract for a video job before, so I have to probably use a template or something. Uh, but the, the job that I'm about to do, um, I agreed to do in a payment plan for the person. So I just want a contract to make sure that that's honored. And a job that I've done recently, uh, there's a little bit of things I didn't like how they went down. So, I don't know, I, I wish I could just rely on the merit of just a shaken hand or somebody's word, but I think it's just smart to start doing contracts, sadly. All right, just about time to take off. I gotta do the last few things, and that is get the proper tripod plate on the cameras that they will be going to. So. So the 60D, connect to this guy. Well, actually I can't film this because I need to take this camera off so I can take the plate off of it and switch it with that. But uh, have you seen my nice new monopod? I'm really excited to play with this tonight. not film anything so we got there and uh, had them sign the contract and we're starting to get everything unloaded and like set up and I think we had like 25 minutes until his set starts and the person that was on stage beforehand mentioned like whatever his name is like blah 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 is gonna come up next and we're gonna have a film crew here and then I think one of the servers heard that and I guess we're not allowed to film in this venue without permission. So he tried to get the owner's number, but they wouldn't give the owner's number. So he was like trying to email the somebody in charge. But I mean, what's the chance that an email is going to get to that person and get responded within a matter of minutes? It's just, it, it would have been so much luck happening. So we just kind of stood there for a little bit, hoping that something would happen and it didn't. So we just packed back up and came home. Uh, I talked to him and he was nice enough to be able to to pay a little bit of gas money and the parking fees that I paid but uh, I don't know at least he has my name now and next time he wants a show filmed or a music video he knows who to call that's that kind of a bummer 